Okay, good evening, dear third year students. Today we shall tackle the eclectic approach. And I want you to prepare your handouts and make those tashirat uh, those uh, on your handouts in order to know this is too long and I want you to focus on certain lines. Let's start with what's meant by an eclectic approach. You, you can see that I have uh, lined them and the eclectic approach is the label given to teachers use technique and eclectic uh, and activities from range of language teaching approaches and methodologies من المميزات اللي أخرى نقول the eclectic approach for teaching foreign language is commentable when circumstances do not allow for adoption of a single method the use of this eclectic approach is very important when you are teaching a language and non-certain non method is useful for you. So this is a very important factor that you need to focus on. This is a theory, an approach, not only, it's not a way, it's a collection of ways. So you can see now the learners of foreign language nowadays are prepared to invest less time uh, less time, يعني, they don't have much time to learn uh, language, just like you. يعني, مثلكم, يعني, uh, عندكم شوية وقت, يعني, تقرون بي والباقي كله, لو بوبجي لو الله يعلم. المهم, let's focus. However, um, there is a question at the end of this paragraph. This paragraph is very important. Uh, it is neither teaching tool for the teachers nor a learning method for the learners. حقلكم عليها, discuss. شنو يقصد هنا المثال جواها الجواب جواها يقول it is a whole way of doing things such as listening combination combined combined with speaking with sub sub uh, subside subsidiary element sorry uh, like phenomena and the form of the language okay um, the other paragraph, I don't want it all, I want just only the two lines that the eclectic method provides a third option for teachers because it uh, focuses, diffuses, fuses element from traditional and cognitive method to deliver on the strengths of both. يعني شنو القصد هنا؟ انها تدمج مجموعة من العناصر ما بين التقليدية و النمطية والعقلية الطرائق العقلية في سبيل أنه تعزز كل طريقة التعليم okay. um, بتاعت البقراف قلت لكم ما أريدها نجي على the, the role of the teacher um, you can see that I have given you four four uh, items like teaching a foreign language must be a symbol for the teacher and the learner and the teacher must feel the pupils are processing satisfactory. Third, there must be a balance between the spoken and the written word. And uh, fourth, there must be a calm. He must overcome the conflict between fluency and accuracy. This is the role of the teacher uh, using the eclectic uh, method. What is the aim of the teacher? Not the role, aim. The aim of the teacher is what? To have our learners master the foreign language no matter what approach we adopt. يعني أنه المغزى أنه هنا هدف المعلم بهاي الطريقة أنه مو مهم الطريقة اللي يتبناها لكن المهم أنه المتعلم يعني يضبط اللغة الغريبة اللي دي يتعلمها. Okay. I don't want the other rest of the paragraph. The the rest of the, the other paragraph it starts with the eclectic theory of language. Now we have the history of and uh, the advantage. The history of it has started in the 90s. It was very important for the development of the language. You can read this paragraph. It has three sections. It was positive, and you can see that it's a very and just for me, I'm using it with you. The other uh, things in this paragraph that the purpose of using eclectic method, the, the purpose is, 
advocating method is to what to connect life experiences to the ideas presented in learning and the learning of language there are types and activities are taken directly from the experience of real world and using them to as a life situation the other paragraph i don't want it i want just this paragraph in the middle start with some people advocate uh, I want only those two advantages of using uh, the eclectic uh, method. It is the first one, which is um, it becomes easier and more possible for the learners to understand the language of the text with the context of, of uh, culture. Second, it blends with the practice of listening, speaking, reading, writing into an organic whole. يعني شنو القصد هنا إنه إنه الحلو بالإكليكتيك ميثود إنه تجمع يعني كل السكيلز ما ما تركز لي على شغلة وتترك شغلة وهو اللي هذا اللي حاصل حاليا بقية الباراجراف قروا في حال إنه ممكن أجيب من نام سي كيو لأنه الحكي كله حلو كله شو مرتب وخصوصا اللي جوا خط أما باقي الفصل أم باقي الطريقة ما ما أحتاجه ولا أريده من عندكم لأنه بصراحة مو وقتها هسه حاليا الظرف ما يسمح لنا نقراها كلها هذا اللي اريده من عندكم قروا لي اياها حتى ان شاء الله بعد فتره اسوي لكم كوز بسيط بيها ثانك يو سو ماتش اند ام سوري فور توكن ان عربيك